Now, if you're someone that's looking to lose weight, well, running is one of the most effective and convenient ways to do so. Yeah, so we have GTN's top 10 tips to lose weight through running. Tip number one, start slowly. Once you've decided that you're gonna use running to lose weight, your motivation is going to be high and you may find yourself wanting to jump into burning those calories quickly. Now, if you start out too fast, too soon, you could find yourself overly tired, overly hungry, and ultimately find yourself actually running less and eating more which isn't what we want, obviously. So make yourself a plan that gradually and incrementally builds your running up, both in terms of distance, duration, and also frequency, to make sure that you don't overdo it. Tip number two, set goals. Now you don't want something vague such as losing weight because that will soon just fade away and you'll lose your motivation with it. Instead go for something that's specific, whether that is trying to run a certain amount of kilometers per week, maybe you're building up to run a 5k park run, or you want to lose a set number of kilos. You'll see yourself getting closer to that and in a result that will be motivating. And remember you can actually have these goals as really small ones because every time you tick it off you'll feel that sense of achievement and then you can just set your next goal and you keep moving forwards. Tip number three, use good shoes. Now running is actually quite hard on the body. With each foot strike, we'll actually experience impact through our body. And obviously if we're carrying a few extra kilograms, that impact is gonna be higher again. But a good pair of shoes with adequate cushioning is actually going to absorb some of that impact with each foot strike, which is ultimately going to reduce our risk of injury. Also on top of that, a good pair of shoes may actually help you to feel better when running and actually help to improve your running, which is obviously going to help with your motivation and mean that you run more. And also do not forget that running shoes don't last forever. Once those running shoes are worn out, we recommend replacing them with some nice fresh bouncy ones. Tip number four, keep track of your miles. If you think back to when you started your journey, you can look and see that you've already covered a total of 50, maybe even 100 miles, or maybe you're doing amazingly and you've covered 500 miles. I think when you look at that, you're soon gonna find that motivation again. Tip number five, track your calories. Similarly to tracking your miles from running, Tracking the number of calories that you've burned since starting a journey can be incredibly rewarding and also very, very motivating. Obviously, you should be tracking the number of calories that you're consuming and eating to make sure that you're not eating too much, but also, as importantly, to make sure you're not eating too little. But you also want to start tracking the number of calories you're burning through running to make sure that, that correlates with the number that you're consuming, but also from a motivation standpoint. Now, to make sure that you're getting a fairly accurate estimate of this, you wanna make sure that you're using a heart rate monitor to work out these calories. Tip number six, don't overcompensate with your eating. It's easy to think, oh, I've run really far, I can have a huge meal. Or maybe you just get back from running and you're so hungry, you just go straight for that snack drawer and you take all those unhealthy snacks. So you want to make sure you still stick to your normal meal plan. You don't need to be hungry from running, but you just need to plan around it. So maybe make sure you've got a meal plan for just after your run and you stick to that rather than going for the junk food and those empty calories. Tip number seven, listen to your body. Being well attuned to how your body is feeling when deciding on a manageable run distance and whether you're recovered from your previous run is very important if you wanna remain consistent with your running. Because running when tired could actually end up decreasing your enjoyment of the runs and ultimately your motivation for running going forwards and could actually increase risk of injury. Similarly, if your calorie deficit is quite large and you end up feeling quite lethargic or tired, then actually listening to your body and noticing that sign early on, you could actually just increase your calorie intake slightly and hopefully get those energy levels back up and remain consistent. Tip number eight, 
be consistent. All of the previous points are actually going to help you reach this goal. Having waves of enthusiasm come and go is not going to make for meaningful progress. Instead, you need a period of consistency in order to see progression. And just so you know, those first few weeks will be the hardest. But if you can stick through that and have that consistent training program, you'll find that later on, it does become much easier. Tip nine. Take cheat days. Now, this may seem like the opposite to the previous point, but they're actually the same thing. You can't be a monk who never falters. And if you head out expecting to be that, well, you could end up being bitterly disappointed, and that is obviously going to affect your motivation. So allow yourself the odd cheat day, be that skipping the odd run or indulging in some treats. Just don't do both of these too often. Tip number 10, be patient. Meaningful progress is going to take time and you might not see measurable results within the first few days or even weeks, but it will come. If you've got a solid plan in place and you're following it, that progress will happen. Well, running is a great way to lose weight, but also it's a great addition to your lifestyle, both for health and well-being, not just for losing weight. Yeah, well, good luck with your journey. If you have any other tips that have helped you to lose weight, please share them in the comments section below. And if you've enjoyed it, give us a like and hit the globe to subscribe.